What what do you like? This. This two. Can I take two or just one? Yeah, two forty bucks. Forty bucks. Okay, so half and half. Hey Boris, what's your impression on the food? Just describe what we ate. Mother's food. I feel at home. Delicious. Good way to start the day, definitely. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do we give this? 7. 7. 7 for the, for the food and uh, 9 for the hospitality. hospitality. <laughs> okay, this has been Boris and Omri's review. See you at dinner. <laughs> What is this? So this is this? Really? Thank you. Thank you. This looks promising. Here? There's two scooters. Only one? Only one. No, that's not. Okay, thank you. Searching, we finally found a place to rent two scooters. <laughs> so I used to ride a bike. I can handle this thing, but Boris has barely driven a bike in his life. So what we're gonna oh, do is take a oh, what we're gonna do is take a small test drive just to see that Boris can handle this. <laughs> Boris, uh, feeling ready? Hell yes. Okay.
I think that we need to change our format. What's the format? I think that we need to go over the food we ate first to explain it mm -hmm. and then talk about each dish. Right. So what did we have? Papaya salad, that's a traditional Thai dish. Yes. The tastiest one I ever got was in my previous trip, the moment I landed in this country. I went to the market there. This papaya salad wasn't getting any close. Two out of ten, is that fair? For the papaya salad? Yeah. yeah. You had another thing, the coconut. Ah, uh, yeah, like a coconut with uh, tom yum, spicy, soupy, red curry with uh, um, squid and uh, shrimp. Squid, shrimps, like a lot of seafood. And then you had the lobster. So that was a lobster with garlic and black pepper? And was black it? pepper, yeah, yeah. I think it was my first time trying a lobster. I appreciated it, but I'm not. I'm, I'm fine with having it one time. I would give it a four out of ten. Yeah. The lobster. Yeah. Okay, and I had some sort of a fish. I don't know which fish. It didn't say. But it was sweet sour Chinese sauce with, uh, yeah, with mangoes, pineapples. My uh, fish was four out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like the sauce. I'm not a big fan of the sweet sour yeah. thing in general. The, the fish itself tasted. You can taste the water the fish comes from a little bit. And okay. to me, it tasted like tap water. This fish was swimming in tap water for a few weeks. <laughs> for me and for Omri, the highlights were, were this, was this Oh little yeah, thing. we didn't talk about the coconut. Yeah, that's okay, so... the, the coconut was 10 out of 10 for sure. Yeah. And we had desserts, right? So yes. you had the sticky rice with mango. The mango was amazing for me. Your mango was... The good. rice was a rice. It's this mixture of uh, sticky rice and mango, that's, yes. no, that's, that's interesting. Because yes. the mango is very uh, liquidy and fresh and the sticky rice is a sticky and yeah, yeah. the two and textures go together well. For the dessert I would give a uh, six, six and a half. Six and a half, yeah, that sounds fair. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of light where we went to at that point, so I'm just gonna describe everything from here. The entire premise of our trip is to just go with the flow, go wherever the wind takes us, we're not planning anything, we just... So after we left the beach, we just said, let's just drive wherever we want. No maps, no GPS, nothing. And we ended up driving up a hill. It was pitch black. There was nothing around us besides trees and maybe some random sporadic houses. All you could hear was the sound of the crickets and the animals from the, the trees around. It was just mesmerizing. It was really, really beautiful. And as we reached the top of the hill, we saw two things. The first thing that we saw was an entire night view of the city of Phuket. It was just beautiful. I don't know if it's the capabilities of the camera or my abilities as a cinematographer, but I just couldn't capture how beautiful it was. It was amazing. I don't know if it's some sort of a spiritual message or just a coincidence. But the second thing that we saw was this huge Humengus Buddha statue. I don't know if it's a touristy spot, we haven't checked any guides, we, we just somehow got there. And it was so serene and beautiful. The entrance to the statue was closed, so the only way to actually see parts of it was to fly my, to fly my drone. Now there were two things, one there was a very strong wind, the second thing is that there was a guard patrolling around, making sure no one was entering. So it was a mixture of both of those things that made the drone shot look quite simple. But being there in this perfectly dark place, it was perfectly quiet and perfectly serene, it was really something. At the end of the day we went to the city of Phuket and Boris joined yet another band, this time with his guitar. So I'm, I'm gonna leave off the episode with Boris shredding it. Yeah.